Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Let's talk about Domingo the Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is a very peculiar carnivorous dinosaur. It belongs to a dinosaur taxa called a Velociridae. Carnotaurus is also with the most complete fossil discovered in this group. All other parts have been preserved except for the end of its tail and feet. Its fossils also contain many skin impressions, so we can clearly understand what this dinosaur probably looked like. Carnotaurus had accounted for a very small proportion of its body, unlike other carnivorous dinosaurs with longer faces. Its head was rounder and taller. Its mouth was relatively short but can open very wide. It had two horn-like structures on its head, and its nose was somewhat short, making it look like a cow. Viewed from the front, the skull of Carnotaurus is relatively narrow, its two horns extend to both sides, and the nose is relatively narrow. On the structure from the top of its head to its horns, many armor-like structures were protecting its head. Around its eyes, there were also many keratinous structures. Therefore, although the head of this dinosaur appeared small, it was thick and robust, making it a quite rough-looking animal. Compared with its large mouth, its lower jaw was thinner, and its teeth were smaller. Judging from its skeleton, its neck is relatively thick. So, it had strong muscles on its neck. In addition, its neck was relatively long, indicating that this dinosaur's neck was powerful and flexible. This also suggests that after biting its prey, this dinosaur would twist its neck to tear the meat from the prey. At the same time, we can know that this animal may prey on larger animals because, generally, small animals can be swallowed by one gulp. Only large prey needs to be pulled and dragged like this. Its body was cylindrical, making it a pretty stout animal. Its sternum was very large, and its coracoid was also huge. What is different from what we think is that, generally speaking, an animal with a giant sternum means that its forelimbs are thick, but Carnotaurus is just the opposite. Its forelimbs were quite small, and its forelimb to body ratio is even smaller than that of Tyrannosaurus rex. Its forelimbs were highly degenerated. Animals like Tyrannosaurus rex and Giganotosaurus had small forelimbs, but their fingers had sharp claws and joints. Their forelimbs, consisting of the upper and small arms, could still make the same movements as humans. But the Carnotaurus forearm was almost fused with the wrist, shrinking very short. You can see its entire arm. This section is all the upper arm, the humerus. This small section is the fusion of the forearm, palm, and fingers, which at least shows that the forelimbs of this animal were somewhat useless for hunting. Although its forelimbs were small, they were still very primitive and had four fingers. The last finger had degenerated into a spike without flexible knuckles. Carnotaurus had very long legs. Although its hind limbs were found incomplete, judging from its thigh bone, its hind limbs were very slender. No fossils of its feet have been found, but when we were doing restoration, we relied on most carnivorous dinosaurs and reconstructed its feet like bird feet. Carnotaurus was a gigantic animal that could reach about 9 meters long and weigh more than 2 tons. An animal with such a massive body must have thicker feet with thick pads on its soles. The tail of Carnotaurus was also unique. Its tail was very long when viewed from the side, but very wide when viewed from above. If you have seen the cross-section of Carnotaurus' tail, you will know it had thick and massive muscles on the left and right sides. The side of its tail was like a crocodile's tail, forming an oblate shape. In addition, many skin fossils were found on Carnotaurus. According to the skin impressions, we know that relatively delicate scales covered its whole body. On both sides of its body were very large plate-like structures, some even extending to the abdomen and the underside of the tail. Such round protrusions spread all over the body from head to tail. There were a series of sharp spikes on its back. Although the fossils of these spikes have not been preserved, and no published papers show photos of these fossils, some people have described that some of these spikes were large, even up to 20 centimeters long. Good. The above concludes our introduction to Domingo the Carnotaurus. Thank you all.